Do you know how strong a black hole's gravity is? Why do they say even light can't escape from a black hole? We know that anything that gets caught by a black hole normally will be swallowed up completely, leaving nothing behind. But light is different from objects. Light is super fast. It can go around the Earth 7.5 times in just one second. It's the fastest thing in the universe we know. And light has almost no mass. So why can black holes still swallow light without mercy? To answer this question, we first need to understand what gravity is and how it's created. Newton's law of gravity tells us that any two things pull on each other with gravity. The bigger something is its mass, the stronger its gravity. And the closer things are to each other, the stronger the gravity is too, and the further away, the weaker. This means your body and everyone else on Earth are pulling on each other with gravity. It's just so weak we don't notice it. But black hole gravity is different. Black holes are formed when giant stars die and their cores collapse inwards. All the stuff that makes up the star gets squeezed into a really tiny space. This makes them incredibly dense. That's why they have gravity so strong that even light can't escape. But light has no mass, right? So why is it affected by gravity and swallowed by black holes? Actually, according to Einstein's theory of general relativity, gravity is caused by spacetime being warped by matter. In other words, things with mass bend the spacetime around them. Imagine spacetime is like a fabric sheet. If you put something heavy on it, it makes a dip. This dip is like spacetime being curved. Then anything else you put on the sheet will roll into the dip, right? And light, more accurately, is described as having no rest mass. Light is made of particles called photons. Photons have no rest mass, but they do carry energy. According to Einstein's theory, gravity affects not only mass but also energy. When light travels through the universe, if it passes by something really massive, the path of the light, which is normally straight, gets bent because the space around it is curved by the massive object. So the light's path has to follow the curve too. For example, in this photo from the James Webb Telescope, in this picture, you can clearly see some galaxies that look bent and stretched. That's because the light from these galaxies passed by a massive object and was affected by the curved spacetime. This is the gravitational lensing effect predicted by general relativity. But black holes are not just any massive object. If you squeeze the Earth into a black hole, it would only be about the size of a grape. Imagine that black holes have incredibly high mass and density. They curve space to an extreme level. Light isn't just bent around it, but more like a funnel. It pulls all the light into a bottomless pit. That's why even light, the fastest thing, can't overcome this extreme spacetime curve. It can't escape the black hole's powerful gravity. So anything, even light, once it crosses the black hole's event horizon, its boundary can never come back out. This is why we can't directly see black holes. Even if we sent a spaceship into a black hole and somehow got its deepest secrets, that data could never be sent back to Earth. Because of this, the ultimate mystery of what's inside a black hole might be forever sealed inside the black hole itself. And we humans may never fully unlock the secrets of black holes. It's mind-blowing. If you liked this, like and follow, see you in the next one.